Uh, are we rolling? You've always got a cheeky smile on when, you, when, we, <laughs> when we start rolling. Yeah. We are rolling, aren't we? So Denso 10 have sent me some new loudspeakers and they are powered by the previously reviewed H590 from Hegel. Also new is a seriously good DAC from DCS. This is the Bartok. So this is one very expensive, very high-end audio system, and that means there's only really one thing we can do. Alexa, play Rock Lobster. Rock Lobster by the B-52s from Spotify. So this video is about voice control of music playback in the Amazon domain using Alexa. So if you wonder what I'm talking to, I am talking to the Amazon Echo Dot. And this little device normally sits in my kitchen over there so that I can shout at it, talk to it, whatever, wherever I am in my own house. And you might wonder why I don't just connect this to my hi-fi and have this play music for me. Well, that's because the DAC and the output here, it's a three and a half mil output, it doesn't really sound very good. So yes, I could use a breakout cable here and connect this to my hi-fi, I could. But it doesn't sound great. So I just leave it in my kitchen and I talk to it and it talks back to me. Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.17 p.m. Alexa, what's the weather? In Berlin. It's 19 degrees Celsius with thunderstorms. Tonight, you can look for some clouds with a chance of thunder showers with a low of 12 degrees. Alexa, play the album The Correct Use of Soap by Magazine. Playing The Correct Use of Soap by Magazine from Spotify. So if the Echo Dot is in my kitchen over here, what's playing music in my hi-fi system behind me? The answer is the Echo Link from Amazon. This is their take on a network streamer. It's a bit like the Sonos Connect, but it's cheaper and it has a headphone output on the front here. On the back, we've got quite a lot of connectivity. We've got analog in and out. The input is for connecting phono stages and things like that. And then we've got coax in and out, Toslink in and out, and a subwoofer output. And there are digital inputs because you can then utilize the internal DAC inside this product. So as you can probably tell, Amazon are pitching this Echo Link at audio files, people who care about sound quality, like me and most likely you. So if you're wondering what a network streamer does, it uses the ethernet input here or the inbuilt Wi-Fi connectivity to pull music from the internet and then output it from the back into your hi-fi system. So we use the digital outputs into an external DAC or we can use the analog outputs into an amplifier or a pair of powered speakers. So it's very simple to set up. So I've got the Echo Dot on the yellow table behind me here and I've got the Echo Link in my hi-fi rack here, and I'm using Amazon's Alexa app to put the Echo Link onto my Wi-Fi network. So one nice, useful feature of this app for some people are the EQ, bass, mid, treble, plus and minus controls that actually affect both the analog outputs of the link and the digital outputs. So we can you know, drop the bass if our room is a little bit too tight for so much bass or we can boost the treble if the room is overly damped, or we can pump the mids up if we're you know, a fan of vocals, and a double tap resets each setting very easily. But here comes a gotcha. The reason my link is in the rack and the Echo Dot is still active in the kitchen is because there are no microphones inside the Echo Link. It's not really an Alexa device. It's just a playback device to be used in tandem with another Alexa unit like my Echo Dot. 
So the way I use these two is I talk to the Echo Dot and the Echo Dot tells the link to play music through my DAC, through my amp and then through my speakers. What I've done here is I've set up a zone where the Echo Dot receives voice commands and the Echo Link plays back the music and you can see the preferred speaker is the Echo Link. The Link doesn't give any voice response, that still comes from the Echo Dot. Does that make sense? Sounds kind of complicated, doesn't it? But it basically, like I give a voice command, the Echo Dot responds, and then music starts played back through the Echo Link. Alexa, play the album The Soft Bulletin by The Flaming Lips. Playing The Soft Bulletin by The Flaming Lips from Spotify. Alexa, play the album Someday by Granddaddy. I can't find the album Someday by Granddaddy. But you can see that Someday by Granddaddy is on Spotify. It's right here. But that's one of the limitations of this Alexa ecosystem for music playback and streaming, is that you can only integrate two streaming services right now at the moment. Number one is Amazon itself, which is obvious, and the number two is Spotify. There is a control for Tidal, it's called a skill, an Alexa skill, but apparently it's very rudimentary. I don't have access to it on the Amazon Germany store. So at the moment, really, this is limited to Amazon streaming, Spotify streaming. And just as a little bonus, you can also see that the Echo Link shows up as a normal Spotify Connect device here. So you don't really need the Alexa commands if you don't want to use them. So even though we're dealing with lossy streaming service sources, I connected the Echo Link to my Hegel amp, and you know, I gotta say the sound quality wasn't great. It sounds a bit murky. It's no better than a Sonos Connect, which is why I then tapped the Toslink output of the Link and fed that into my shit Modi 3 DAC and then fed its analog output into the amp. And from that, I got a much better result. Felt as though a veil had been lifted. <laughs> I've reviewed the Modi before. You know how much I love this thing for a hundred bucks. It's a price appropriate upgrade. So personally, I would not use this Echo Link without an external DAC. The internal DAC inside the Link, it's very, uh, the Modi brings it to life. This is a good pairing. That's what I use here. So also know that I'm using the Link at full volume. There's a rotary here that brings volume down, down, down which is essential if we want to plug in a pair of headphones. These are the Meze 99 Classics, go into here like this, and we've got volume control like this. This is a digital volume control, and the reason I always run it at full volume is because this digital volume control does not sound very good at lower volumes, even with headphones, even with the extremely forgiving 99 Classics. I really do not like this headphone output at all. So, now nah, that, in the bin. Alexa, play Born Slippy by Underworld. Born Slippy, Nux, live by Underworld from Spotify. Being a more mainstream focused network streamer, the Echo Link was always going to get found out in the context of a high end audio system like this. But that's my job is to see, you know, how this stacks up against the best in class of affordable DACs like this shit. Also, if you want just a network streamer without the voice control, the average Raspberry Pi with the very average um, hats with a DAC on top will also sound better than this. The Allo Boss DAC definitely does. So using the internal DAC on this, not great, even though it's got coax and Toslink inputs. Um, and I would say that this definitely needs help from an external DAC if you're going to use it in your hi-fi system. The reason you do buy this obviously is because you want voice controlled playback of music, Amazon streaming or Spotify streaming. 
I mean, it's just, it's just a bit of fun, really. It's convenience and fun. And more importantly, it's something that everyone in the family can use. You don't have to know how to operate a high-end hi-fi system, all the complicated input routing and things like that. You can just set this up for your family, put this in at the front, and then get them to talk to an Echo Dot or some other Alexa equipped speaker, and they can stream music in the house through your hi-fi system if you'll let them do that. I didn't find anything called house that can play music. Can See? Play on your speaker. Use the <laughs> Alexa always wants to talk to you even when, when you don't want to talk to her. Use definition is second person pronoun indicating the person addressed. Did that answer your question? Thank you, Alexa. Thanks for your feedback. The other elephant in the room here is that this is absolutely not a product for people who don't want a device in their house that's always listening. I know that people are out there, they don't, they don't want that, they don't like that. I get that, that's fine. I have very mixed feelings about it, but I just thought I would share how this link integrates into a hi-fi system. Um, so obviously we need a, an extra device like that over there. This is just a streamer, it's just a receiver really, if you like, and then it plays out. It's okay, it's fine. It's fun and it's fine, there we are, that's it. It's fun and it's fine. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Alexa, volume down. Alexa, stop. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you dig my attitude towards high-end audio and that I'm not afraid to tackle super entry-level products that come from big, giant corporations, then please subscribe to this channel. And as always, Thank you so much for watching. Alexa, play the album Sunday. No, it's not called Sunday. Oh, idiot. Playing Mail on Sunday by Flo Rida from Spotify. Don't you dare. Alexa, stop.